Hello everyone. Let's do uh, this recording on array manipulation methods. So this gonna be uh, first of all a lengthy tutorial and uh, in parts. Even that lengthy is in parts because if you see this uh, array manipulation methods, we have array locator methods, array ordering methods, array reduction methods. These are lengthy these three. And then there is a little bit here, a trader index query. So possibly three or four recordings will happen on this array manipulation methods. So here, few things that we have to understand here is, let's go with this. System array log provides built-in methods for array reduction, ordering, locator, iterator, index query. So the array contains, what we can do is we can identify the element whether existing or not, that is the locator. And then uh, we can uh, we arrange them, that is ordering. And we uh, do some reduction, like uh, for example, if we go to these reduction methods, some AND reduction or reduction. So that is returns bitwise AND. Such operations we can perform on the contents of the array. So this, uh, and then, This is, uh, yeah, so these operations can be done. So here, um, in array manipulation methods, it iterates over array elements and evaluates the expression using with class. This is one thing that is important that we have to understand. So with class, with is a keyword that will be used here. How it is used? Like, for example, if you want to uh, 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 find this, let's say LO is existing or not. So this itself, you will assign to a variable. Okay. And then this, this is variable name, array variable name. Dot find is a method. And then what is that we want to find to a to variable we will assign. In this case, X is a variable to that variable that we are assigning. What we want to find, like let's say there are several co colors are there. Among those several uh, several uh, colors, one color, particular color that you are assigning to X, this variable. And what you are doing, you are just putting in the find method within the parentheses. Saying that this with this variable, uh, this x dot color is equal to this particular color. So that that's how we uh, find whether it is existing in the uh, given uh, array element or not. In case if you don't want to use this local variable, we can go with uh, this item. Item is a keyword here. So array dot find with item dot color is that equal to yellow? So we'll see the example, then we'll understand that. Now here. So only two things that, uh, yeah, we'll see these examples. With uh, examples only uh, one can understand. Uh, then we'll straight away go to this uh, array location methods. In location methods, as I said, either you may find the element uh, in the array where it is, or the index, index locator, whether that particular index is existing or not. So, in element locator, we have these methods. Find, find first, find last, unique, and the minimum and the maximum. 
So this, these are the keywords basically, find, find underscore first, find underscore last, unique, min, and max. These are the keywords that we have. And uh, if you see that, uh, you can go through the description here. Returns all elements satisfying the given expression. So that way, uh, you know, function. We, we will see with example this one. So if you see here, this element array locator module, uh, we have this type definition enum enumerated data type here. This color underscore type is enumerated data type. And we have red, green, yellow here. And this is the class that we have. Don't worry about this class at this point of time. We will discuss this one later on. But for now, class is a data type. And uh, here the name of this class is the transaction. And it is having these members address, data, colors. Three members are here, class members. And uh, here, this is the method, class method. We have the print. So, and what else is there inside the class? Nothing. This class name is transaction. It has got three uh, class members and one class method. Now, Coming to this here, module element array locator example, we are using this uh, class name here. This is the transaction class name. And uh, this is the TR is a handle, what we call TR is a handle. It can be anything, T instead of TR, you can give anything as a handle name. And uh, another handle here is a this transaction, uh, tr underscore this assoc underscore arr, and this is associative array. So, this is an associative array of type this class, transaction class type. And uh, there is uh, one static array, array 8, it has got uh, this arr is a variable. It has got this eight elements. All right. Now what we are doing, see here. First, we are generating the array generation. This is generating the array itself. So let's go to that first one, array generation. <laughs> what exactly we are doing. So if you, if you see this particular function, in that, we are first creating the space for that handle, TR, is assigned with a new. New is a method. New is a method within the parenthesis we keep. If you keep the square bracket, then it will throw error. New square bracket is with the dynamic arrays, right? New parenthesis is for the creating the object of the class. So here, this TR is a handle. At the time of handle it, there is no space being created for the class. When you use this new, then memory is created for this TR. Now what we are doing is, we are using this assert and then TR.randomize. If TR.randomize means, randomize is a method, inbuilt method. What it does is, in this TR, this is in this ha this handle is of that class, right? Of this class. In this class, we have this members, class members. Those class members with the rand R A N D rand keyword or rand C keyword, them it randomizes. Them, what it does, it randomizes and keeps everything in this TR. Your TR is a uh, class handle. This TR is a class handle because of this new uh, function here. This handle has got the space now in the memory. 
in the memory. Now we can keep all those randomized values. If randomization fails for some reason, then this what assert does is it 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 gives the errors. It shows up the in the console. Uh, it will show the error. If it is succeeding, then it, what it does is it will proceed here, and then we are using this tr dot print. What it does is tr is a class handle. In that class, we have this print method. So it will call that print method here. Okay, so if you call that print method, what is there in the print method? We have this address data colors. All right, this colors. So it, it prints actually. So after randomization, they've been updated. So it prints here. So uh, this this line number four will be printing that. Then the same tr contains what we are doing is we are keeping in this tr uh, this another uh, what is this tr underscore a s s o c underscore a r r is a uh, if you see here is a uh, associative array of type this uh, transaction related values it will keep this class related. So the index is here integer, integer type. Int, int means integer type. So that's why here int, since it is int type, three is one index uh, value. And in that what we are keeping, whatever uh, after randomization, uh, the values being generated, all of them being captured and placed here in this variable. In this variable. So that is what that, that is what happening here, line number two to five. The same thing is again repeated at line number seven to ten. So like that, this this entire this arrays are generated. So let's see this one how uh, one by one we'll go. And uh, here, if you go to this uh, media playground, I have kept here. All of them I have arranged. It may, it may take a lot of time again to arrange them here. So I did it before recording. I will explain here. I have to refresh this one because uh, okay. Now, if you see uh, this one here, module element underscore a r r underscore locator uh, example uh, do not concentrate this import here for now just concentrate this initial and this gen a r r underscore gen this is a function call that we are doing we are calling the function here so let me comment out this in max also here Now, we just want to demonstrate this, how arrays are generated, how array uh, gen will function and uh, how uh, these arrays are generated that we want to see. So for that, what I have done, I will explain. Each function is uh, like the, this is one function for array generation. This function and find method is another function find method is a, another function like that different functions are uh, there for for every method we have written a one function call one function call what for to demonstrate this find underscore method how it works so if you see in this function here uh, i will just show here uh, you can see here that this find find with how it is used here. And uh, if you see the find underscore first here, 
this is find underscore first method means function this is find method or find function so this is find function is used here so for every such function or method we have one function called find last if you see this is the find last i will explain every every you know, method or every function but for now you just focus on this array underscore gen array underscore gen i have already had explained this one now uh, what i have done is i have created this one uh, all with the name all dot sv i have kept inside that the class that I shown, I discussed, and the variables that are there, and all these function calls that we are making. Like uh, if you see this array gen, this is the function that I have shown. This is the, this is the function. This array gen, this array gen, I kept inside here, and all of these functions. Every function I took and placed inside this all dot sv. Like this is one r underscore gen find underscore method. This is one function. Like that, all of the functions I have kept them inside the package. This is the concept called um, package uh, in system Verilog. But for now, you just understand that we can keep like that. What is that we can do? We can use a keyword called package and it will have some name and it will be terminated with a semicolon. All of those things, wherever that you want to access them, you keep inside this package. And package is terminated with a keyword called end package. Now, what I am doing here is um, this is the module where I have this um, function call. I'm just using this uh, file name here. First of all, this file name, this module must know where it is. So this is the compiler directive. Backport include is a compiler directive. What it does is it, it includes this file here in the current uh, uh, file. This is the testbench.sv, right? In inside this file, this file contains our scene. Now, since these are seen here, this file contains. It is as if you have written here top. Now, whatever required, then I have to use this keyword import and the function name or package name. Here, the package name. If you see. See the package name functions underscore package functions underscore package is the package name that package name I'm using and colon colon is a syntax and which function that I want to uh, import here in the current scope here from this uh, several functions I just want to import only this function, particular function, array underscore gen. This function I want to import here, meaning it is seen here in this uh, scope. I will comment out even this one. So I will summarize again. This is a bit, uh, little bit complex, not, uh, you know, not that complex, little bit. So I will explain again. I'll go to this one. Here we want to demonstrate how this find method works, right? What it does, returns all elements satisfying the given expression. It returns those elements that are there in the expression. So in the example here, what we have, this find method is used. First we are generating the array itself. So how we are generating the array itself by randomizing. So here, if you see, this is a class usage. Don't worry at this point if you're not understanding class usage. 
you just have to understand that class will have some members and some methods. And this class has got address data colors. This colors is uh, of type color type. Color type is enumerated data type. Now, what we are doing here is inside this module, we are using the class data type. Inside the module, again, class data type is there. And this data type is having, like, this is associative array. This associative array of type transaction. And index is of type int. We discussed associative arrays. If you have confusion, refer that uh, recording. And uh, there is one variable uh, array, static array of type int. And it has got eight uh, locations, so eight different uh, values we can keep inside that. And then what we are doing, we are, as I said, we are generating the array itself. That array, how we are generating with the help of this class. How, if you see this array generation, we are randomizing it basically. What I said, this randomize is a method, inbuilt method. It, it, it generates something randomly. Instead we you know, generating, it gen, um, uh, simulator will generate. This happens only when we, if we could able to create the object of the class. Uh, creating the object of the class means what? Declaring some memory for that. Simply if you write this handle like this, no memory will be created for this TR variable. TR variable needs some memory so that whatever happening in the class, this class uh, uh, members or this members, whatever happens, whatever happens means in this case, what is happening? Randomization is happening. During randomization, it will if that randomize method is generating some values, there needs to be captured, right? So capturing means memory is required, right? Memory required means this is how memory is created with the help of this new function. So be careful with this new function, new parenthesis here not new square brackets. If you keep new square bracket, that is for dynamic array size creation. But here is a memory creation, not size creation, it's a memory creation. Now we are randomizing. What this assert do? If randomization fails for some reason, then it will throw error. Simulation will be stopped. If it is successful, then it will proceed here. Then <coughs> it, it will not stop the simulation. It will just throw the error. And uh, if it is failing, it will throw the error. And uh, if it is succeeding, then no error will be thrown. Then it will be coming to this set, uh, next whatever statement is there. Here what we are doing, we are just using this PR class handle and calling this print function. Print function is called with the help of class handle only. So here if you see class has got this method, print method or print function. So here after randomization, this address been updated, data been updated, and colors also been updated here. So they will be displayed on the console here. And those values are preserved or held in this associative array. It is index three. This TR is of type class. And to whom you are assigning, that also must be of class type only. That's why TR underscore 
this ASS was underscore AR is of type class. If you see here, this is the class, transaction class. All right. So with that, now let's go and see whether we are able to generate or not. So this, the entire thing, what I have done is the EDA playground, this is how I organized. I just kept here one file that is all.sv. Inside that, I have created package. How, how do you create the package? You use a keyword called package and some package name. And inside that, whatever the variables that you want to, I mean, what all that you want to keep, everything you keep. Here, I want to keep all of this, like, you know, type definition, class, and uh, this uh, class, uh, uh, you know, what we call this um, handle, and then these functions here, all functions. Like uh, I told, I discussed this array generation function, how we are generating the um, array. Later on, I will discuss with find method. But for now, to avoid the further confusion, just let, a, let us. Uh, confine ourselves to this uh, array generation. Okay, now this package, what I'm doing here, this is the module. Here, I'm just calling that file name here with the help of compiler directive. It means as if you have kept everything, this everything, all of this file contains here. Now from that, I'm importing using import keyword, using import keyword import from where, from this package. See, here is the package name, functions underscore package. From that functions underscore package, this colon colon is the syntax. What is that I want to import? This function array underscore gen it must be appearing here if i do that way it means what this entire thing this entire thing will be imported here in this scope it is seen now here if you see i i have only array gen function called here and rest of the things i have commented here so let's do the simulation only for array generation. So this is selected all data river of row is here. Now let us uh, run this one. Um, here is it uncheck show output file not required to check. Let us run this one. So if you run Now you can see it's a generating array. This is this one got printed. And then since we are randomized, so something randomly uh, randomly have come some something. And why is that one, two, three, four different, I mean uh, four set of values have come? Because if you see this array gen here, four times we are actually like. This is one time, second time here, third time here, fourth time here. That's why we see here, we see here four different set of values. And these are generated because of that randomized function, because of this randomized function here, this one. Okay, so that's about um, that's about uh, array generation. So we did array generation. So next, what is that we have to do is let's go to this find method. Let's discuss this find method. In this find method, we had two variables here of type this transaction class. One is queue, 
the other is simply uh, this is handle. This is also handle, but inside the, the this is a queue. A queue of that transaction type. Queue of the transaction type. This TR is nothing. It is just handle with uh, no type here, but it belongs to transaction. So here, meaning it's not array. It is just uh, like a bit A, integer A, int A, like that we say. Na? What is A means? It is of int, int type. So like the TR is one, one variable of type this transaction. Whereas if you keep bit 7 colon 0, uh, bit A 7 colon 0, then it is it has become the array. So here also it is like that. This is an array. Q, Q it is, Q of time this transaction. Now here there's another variable, Q size. So what we are doing here is trans tr underscore associate underscore r in that we already pushed here right uh, here if you see whatever we have randomized then we are keeping inside this variable now in the find method what we are doing in that variable we are trying to find with item colors equal to yellow in that is there a item is there a item uh, which is equal to yellow that we are seeing if it is there what happens then it returns all of them to tr underscore q that's why it is type uh, you know it's a q uh, q is a system like q here because of q only we can shift everything like what is that we have we have um, we got here if you see is everything just because we don't know how many uh things we have to uh, keep right in uh, in that case only this q is helpful uh, so it is the unbounded one so unbounded means any number of things you can keep inside this so what we are doing is we are just finding. We don't know while we are finding how many mm, items may come. All of them we are assigning to. If that match is happening, we are assigning to tr underscore q. Now tr underscore q. This has got some uh, assignment now. So this assignment, uh, if you then we are trying to see the size of that, meaning how many locations being assigned like that. So that is with the size function. Now we are printing out here number of elements for color item yellow. This yellow here, uh, Q size, how many are there? So obviously, if you see this array generation from the array, there are two. So it's supposed to be printing the size 2 here. Now, i equal to 0, i less than the 2. Then we are incrementing. So if you come here, element, this is i is initially 0 plus 1, element 1. tr underscore q pop friend. What it does pop friend? From the tr underscore q, inside that whatever we have kept, it will read out and it will assign to this tr. So if it is reading out, then this entire thing will come out here because that is the match. Hello with hello, here is the match. Okay. So if it is match happening here, then it must be printing 6, 5 that color when it is print is called next it will be printing this seven because that's the match next what we are doing here is in the expression here 
the same again this uh, tr underscore this as soc underscore a r r in that what is there here find with dot find here you have to notice the dot find the method is like with the dot with item dot data it is greater than or equal to one and item dot data is less than or equal to five. So this data here, that one must be greater than or equal to one. If greater than means here we have this three and uh, four, why also greater? But the other condition, what it says, it must be less than less than or equal to five. Less than or equal to five means this five is acceptable here. This everything is acceptable here. So what it is going to do? It is going to again, you know, all such elements like which are their uh, data greater than or equal to one, and this condition meeting elements everything they are assigned to this tr underscore q so since everything is like uh, with this expression it is fulfilling satisfying this expression so all of these values will be shifted to i mean uh, they are assigned to tr underscore q so if you see this tr underscore q mm, here it is it is q so this already I discussed here. So the size here, if you see the size, it must be like uh, four here, and then uh, them, them, all of them we have to print out here. So if you if you print out, then all this should come here during print. All right, so let's uh, do that one now. Let's simulate that one. How do we simulate that one? Since this find underscore method, this function call, I already kept inside the package here. See, this is the find underscore method. Right. This function is kept inside the package. And that one I will import here that one i will import here so that name is find underscore method okay yes it here and then mm, here this i have to uncomment because I have to call the function. So this I have to uncomment. So array underscore gen and find underscore method. These two will uncommented here. Let's run now. So if you see this one is already we have discussed array. I mean how array is generated now find method if you see as i said two the size will be two the element one and element two they will be printed out and i said that uh, number of elements per data item in range one to five is uh, like they are four so that's what i said here this is satisfying like uh, the data here um, see this data in the data 3 is greater than 1 only 4 is also greater than 1 5 is greater than of course and it is also equal to 5. So both conditions are met here. 
so all of these uh, like uh, you know generated will be printed out so let's see here green yellow yellow green so we are expecting green yellow yellow green yes this four uh, got printed again all right so that is find method how it is doing with this find method again let us see what we have done simply we are finding whether that color is there or not that is one activity and uh, here the complete expression been written here multiple conditions this is, this is uh, with multiple conditions this is one condition this is another condition here simple condition only just is the color that color very simple condition here but here if you see little bit complex condition so that way in, inside the array what is there uh, that we can find with the help of this find method okay this is little uh, complex but uh, with practice you will understand so we will stop in this recording uh, with this find method because there are several more to discuss here and everything is having you know a lot many things here to discuss For, uh, find first this itself has got one to 26 lines here anyway we'll make another video for recording i think this is making sense if not making sense you please comment in, uh, in the comment section uh, i will try my best to make uh, another video uh, with more explanation easy explanation right so uh, with this i conclude this recording this will be the part one i don't know like it may go up to uh, part six or seven also sometimes because as i said here if you see there are several things to discuss we are still there in the array locator methods and we did only two methods here find and uh, find uh, only find with it. Only find with it. Yes, find method only with it. And uh, here we have several other uh, to complete. All right. Yeah. Thank you.